furtherance of the gospel so that my bonds in your house shall manifest in all that of all the palace and in all the other places and many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds are more and more bold to speak the word without fear some indeed preach that I will shine even of envy and strife and some also of good will that's, that's bad man that's why you got so many people for, uh, sorry, go ahead. everybody come up against GMS that's that envy you know what I mean and some people don't make videos unless something GMS did like uh, that nigga uh, what's that nigga uh, Yako Wacko that nigga don't make no videos but every time he does videos he, he does it because of GMS he gonna get back at GMS that's an envy and strife that's, that's the only time. That's the only time. That, that only time that makes a nigga do work if he's going. You what know, is, what's the seed of your intent? It's like, the intent is to have seed. It's a seed, and if, it, if it's always about Christ, not just any seed. What does the scripture about. say? Make sure that your seed remains. Remains, yes, sir. You can't just grab up any old fruit seed. that remains. Yeah. Got to bear fruit. And, and what do we hear as witnesses against those who are the red purple that they speaking about us? Y'all leave them guys alone. You know what I mean? Y'all stay away from this. You know what I'm saying? You know? Oh, you know, but you know, they do it in the churches too. They do it in the churches too. This temple better than that temple. That temple. So we, we became gang affiliated all over again in, in camps and in, in, in churches. And we need to stop straining at our differences and start understanding that level cover amongst two sin. But with that word. That's the spirit of the Lord, though, that spirit of division. Yes, sir. He said He set that up. He set that up. So he said he, uh, he scattered the sheep. He split the shepherd and scattered the sheep. He said there's going to be a, uh, what did he say? That small remnant of the house of David. The, you know, the elect is a small remnant. You know what I mean, sir? Ain't everybody going to come together. There ain't going to be no union. You know, that's the kingdom. And that's what we were talking about when we first got out here. We were talking about how the Spirit did with men. Sometimes the Lord gives people up to the world. And He gives you instructions to be in that wicked piece of shit. Or He gives those one third of those left their instructions to do the work. The interesting thing about it is, is that He's looking for us to come to Him. For him to make known things for us. So he, like Jeremiah 33, 2 and 3 says, Call to me and I'll show you great and say, Well, you don't know it's not. He didn't say everybody come. He, he, might, he needs you to come to him alone. He needs you to come to him alone. And we start having that one on one with him, we start agreeing. You know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't, and like you said, it, it, it's going to be just, it's going to be division, but with the agreement that we have with him personally, that we understand things together. So I don't stand different. We might have had our disagreements over the course of some time, but it's not so much so that we don't agree with the word. It's a different world. Hey, a little leaven leaven a whole lump though. Yes, sir. I mean, somebody comes in here with just one one teaching is off. What are they going to do next? It starts with that. You give them an inch and take a mile. So you got to be in agreement. That's the, you know. So if we got disagreements, you got you to iron those out. You can't just be uh, agree to disagree. Otherwise, otherwise you're gonna have your uh you gotta have that foundation built on that rock. Just like wickedness in the brothers, man. You need to learn how to stop doing that wickedness which is in their control. You know what I'm saying? Out here fronting like you you out here fronting like you Mr. Perfect and shit. But you looking at other brothers like something wrong with them. That's that's common, man. See that a lot. That's very common. You know you know that in uh about 2013 I was sitting in the Tim Hortons, right? First, that's the first thing, walking in the truth, reading, asking him to correct me, asking him to chastise me, love me, asking me to, to, you know, to do, I'm asking him to do such a thing, I'm asking him for stuff, and he started telling me, he said, he said, he spoke to a brother, he said, I will you, you sow your seed to a woman, you no longer love, will cause enmity with your walk with me, he was walking my behind, the most I would me, and then he said, and he said, why do you seek control, Aaron? He asked me that. I was like, I, I didn't talk the whole day. Actually, yeah. I was like, because no. <laughs> he whooped me. He told me stop seeking control. Yeah. Getting the next word and thinking you have it all figured out. You you need time and you need to be quiet and listen. So I said, we should be quiet. So we can start helping people. Yeah. 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 What a beast? What you mean? Which beast? Yeah. Beast is an actual. Uh, the beast is a nation, it's a couple of nations that's together. It's like great military. It is. I, I, I recognize it. I recognize it. Hebrews 5. It's like, it's like, I just say that's that great military power. Right, right. All y'all, I know y'all seen Russia test the Satan. Satan's 
Right. It's eight and two. You're right. It's a magnificent success. Where they launched that bitch like 2,000 miles. Hey, you see them cruise missiles, though? Yeah, they, they got the scripture. Them burning. cruise missiles is what's we'll amazing stuff, right. though, man. Them cruise missiles, them cruise missiles are coming in lower now. A lot lower and they're coming in lower and faster. Oh, shit. And they, they did a whole practice of missiles. That's the word of the day is J-O-B. The time is coming, man. The, see, the time is right. <laughs> the harvest is right. I ain't a harvest. What's up, man? I'm trying to. Hebrews 5 and 12. They were burning a hole. We got a word, too. But when your time, you ought to be teachers. You have need the one to teach you again. Jake out here, man. Jake need to be out here teaching the truth. Yeah. Teaching the truth, teaching it properly, man. Like I said, a time when y'all ought to be teachers, man. Teachers should be, the prophets should be all over Columbus. I have to say it this way, niggas should be all out here in Columbus. Niggas coming in all, flav all flavors, you know? All them niggas. The kingdom of Need to be out here like, teaching the word, man. It's like mustard you know? seed. This is the time, right? It's going to grow where it, it time where it needs to grow in different levels. And it's right, interesting right. that history and memory is going to be some right. hidden prophets coming out of the cave. Then you all from here. I got a garment for you. I got some gloves and a hat. You know, I, I well, can help said, you keep warm. They said we came out of the trash can. <laughs> I got something for you to keep warm out here. Yeah. Just, just back some more yeah, like, yeah, some excuses for not coming out. Eighth, eighth, child. Child. Eighth, child. eighth child, eighth child, eighth child. You know what I mean by eighth child? Jesse lined up his seven favorite children. And when, and, when, and when Samuel came into the house, he was looking for, surely this is the king. No, daddy? Not the king. Yeah, he said judge not according to appearance. Come on, But judge righteous judge. Eighth child, eighth child, eighth child. David, David, David. 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 Yeah, how, how's the David? How's the David? <coughs> yeah, that's the tabernacle of David. Cause he went from the field. David thought he was in trouble. <laughs> he was, but we got the house of Saul then. That means that's thirsty. They're here today. That's right. That's and they right. know they Israelite. House of Saul. That's right. You know? yep. And House of Saul, <laughs> notice they was getting smaller and smaller. Yep. That means a lot of these people going to start coming out of those other ones. You know? Wax, what to say? The wax, David wax stronger and stronger. Saul, yep. House of Saul, something like that. Saul was weak. Right. Right. All right, right. Hebrews 5 and 12. For when you, uh, for when the time, for when you, uh, <laughs> for when, for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need to want to teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh. With the truth, right? With the truth. And are become such as have the need of milk and not of strong milk. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we got all that. Like, we all got ground this. Is the milk. The milk is the Lord came for Israel. All the heathens are going to be our servants in the kingdom. The Lord's name. That's very important. So we all got debt. That's the main thing. You can't yeah! like we can't join forces with somebody that calls uh, that call that calls the Son of God Yeshua. His name's Yahweh Shai. That that's definitely we have to agree on that. It's right here. No, this is go ahead. In the basics. This uh, I'm gonna read all this. This is uh, this is good going by time. You gotta be separate from other people. Now the headline says right there: the church must be separate. The first question is five to seven. It says, purge out therefore the old leaven, that you may be a new lump. As if you are unleavened, even how shy our Passover is sanctified for us. Therefore let us, go ahead, go ahead. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice. Leaven's black conscious beliefs. We're Egyptians, the nation of Islam. I, all them practices in the Baptist Christ church, the, the Lord's Christian name is, church. The Lord's name is Christ. Right. Judaism. Yeah. The, the list goes on and on. You know, paganism. What is he saying today? Paganism, to which we're in the time that. of right. pagan. They like you, to worship the words. We're in that time, boy. You got uh, like uh, IUIC. You get saved by keeping the law. Yeah, yeah. that's how. They, that's yeah. what. Like they how do. you get saved? We said it earlier. Do faith. And if you're still ashamed, oh, if you're still I'm ashamed of how of the process and talking about it, then you're ashamed of the gospel faith and works. You got to do faith. You got to work. work. Yeah. You can't out here. Right. Oh, everybody claim to have faith. No, don't you? Everybody claim to have faith. Well, you have faith in who? What's your fruit? Satan. What's your fruit that you bear? Right, man. That's evidence. It says that wickedness, but with the fun, like but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote unto you in the epistle not to come. It's like, we, 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 yeah, that, that's a good point, though, sincerity and truth. So you got to be sincere. A lot of dudes out here, they don't even know why they're out here teaching. You know, are they out here to be a superstar? They, oh, they're in the process. Well, it also says truth. Yeah, truth. <laughs> so, I mean, can you, can you be telling the truth by lying? 
No, I mean, you got, you no, got, no. You better be, you got one thing or another. Yeah or nay. Even that's if you right. unknowingly lie. That's true. Don't We're not on how to say, oh, that's our interpretation. The scripture says there is no proper interpretation. <laughs> There's either the truth or there's a lie. You know what I'm saying? We out here to, we out here to broadcast the truth. Declare it to the truth unto men, like it says, go to men. It says, here's the biggest part of it. I wrote unto you, not, it's like I wrote unto you in a pistol, not to company with fornicators. Okay? Ye seven. Yet not all together with fornicators of this world, or with covers and covers, or extortioners, or with idolaters, for then must you need me go out of the world. And now I have written unto you not to keep company with any man that is called a brother, okay? Be a fornicator, covers or an idolater, or a rattler, or a drunker, or an extortioner. That's why it's important to check yourself. You see, you know what I'm saying? Some, most people can't do that. You gotta check yourself, man. Yeah, like I said, it's an extortion, too. A lot of guys are right. in this for the money. They ain't here, they gonna get That's in That's what we're talking about, too. Uh, Ireland's, Ireland's are in the temple. We've had people uh, sneak up in our thing, you know, trying to be about money. Trying to get paid. Yeah. Remember, dude was like, dude was like, <laughs> Dude, why go ahead? Dude was trying to get some money out of this stuff. We ain't made nothing. Dude know? was trying to grind. Oh, we ain't never asked nobody for a dime, you know? I think the most we got was what, a dollar? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, years and years ago, that one dude, where he was telling me to run for political office, and he gave us some money. Can't please, dude, can't yeah. yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the Yeah. <laughs> uh, read that again. Yet not together. This, this sound is so loud. Man. Yeah. First Corinthians, first Corinthians five and ten. Yet not all together with fornicators of this world. See, he said he's not just saying people in the world. He's talking about people that claim that they're in this tree. You know what I'm saying? So that's a big cut to all these little, these little fake ass Christians talking. Thing when they come out here wearing matching garments, and them garments ain't cheap. You say they charge hundreds of dollars for them. They force you to buy it. So they're make, they're making a profit off the garment. Y'all, you seen the uh, what's the comfies people in the red and white? Your boy, uh, what's your boy's name? KOC the Great made a video on YouTube because he used to be a part of him when he left. Hey, how you doing, Sal? And uh, what was I about to say? Uh, yeah, KOC Great. That's Kevin Great. KLC, he made a video, and, and, and he, uh, he he proved that they was charging like six hundred dollars for them uh, for them garments, and then they went to the store where they bought the materials and probably cost twenty dollars to make them or something. He, he he did a whole documentary on it, you know. And it's interesting that we keep forgetting that all man has done with God's power is try to bottle it, warp it make it their own, change it, and all of us have been guilty of it at one point. But, the, but the, the, the issue is that we strain at the process that we watch people go through in this as well. And so we're missing that. That's the reason why there's so much quarrel amongst people who are Hebrew and amongst people even in the church. That's good though. But it's, we're, we're learning that. We're learning that there's a process for people. So if I see somebody out here naked, strung out on heroin, and I'm like, and I look at them and, I, and I'm like, they're always going to be that way. And I'll leave them. Then I forgot Titus 3 to 10. Well, you know, then I forgot the word. You gotta look at the biggest. Oh, you can re oh Slack, you go ahead. You, I, I got something that. Let's get that Titus. Go ahead. You, you can look at the biggest example about our Lord and Savior, your house shot. Okay? Mainly, like, what? Like, so many times through the Bible, he always argued with the side of the church. Now, since he's the Lord, he knows everything. Shouldn't he be like, hey, bro, let's come together all day. Let's, go, let's do this. No, he was cussing up. What did John about this do? When John about to saw them coming coming to his baptism, he said, "Oh, come down here and be baptized." You know, he said, "Hey, he said, who warned you, you, uh, you snakes and vipers, of uh, coming destruction? Bring forth fruits uh, worthy of repentance." He said, "I'll oh, come down here and be baptized, brother." No, there was there was always that. Even Paul, uh, you read Act read Acts 17, I believe. It says Paul uncompromising. Paul said that he said that Paul went out there daily uh, arguing uh, with the people. 
So this not this can't yeah. be on that unity. And I got I got the perfect scripture for it. All right, let me read this real quick. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Um, wait patient. John two, <laughs> <laughs> right? John two and fifteen. And when he had made a scary a small pool, he drove them all out of Ooh. the temple. Let me start up. Just yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? Because it tells you why. That oh, remember in the garden he just found out. Could you imagine if we laid hands on somebody? <laughs> We'd be the <laughs> devil. They yeah. say we were Satan. They like y'all the most evil, hated people on the planet. Right. John Lord, two and twelve. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That carnal shit. I have. I've done that. I've done it down here. <laughs> yeah, walking, walking with him, I, I had to walk guy down here who said he was a marine. I broke a guy's jaw at the yeah, shelter. Right. And, 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 I don't know if you know his name is Chaz, but recently I gave him the cover off my, the cover off my back because right. he's talking about the most high. Yeah. He's talking about it now. So I know I know how to chastise. I can put my hands on people and still love them. David was a, he was he didn't hate he, well he might have hated his enemy. But oh, I, don't, I don't have to hate you to kill you. If you're a problem, if, well, you, if you cause my you cause me a problem, if you cause my family a problem, you cause Israel a problem, I may have to cut you down. And I'm not gonna hate you. David it's had not. many times the uh, opportunities to kill Saul and he didn't. Yeah. He even snuck on him like a ninja. He's yeah. like, I couldn't kill you. He's washing his ass sleeping. You know, two boys from the tribe of Benjamin went and they killed the innocent man, Saul's brother, while he was asleep in a time of peace where they had made a peace agreement. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. He, he cut their legs and he cut their, their feet and their arms off. Yeah, he wouldn't do it just regular ass nigga, but he's a good to be king, so that's why they got that respect to him. Respect. Even though he knew he was wicked. Yeah. And because he knew it would cause millions of death if he didn't strategically be led by the most high, he knew that he had to do everything strategically. So he knew if he didn't cause an issue in his pride and ego, it could cause a war that would result in millions of, of his people's dying. So when them, those boys killed uh, Saul's brother in his sleep, he said, every person who has come to me and said that they killed Saul, even lying to me, I had to murder. He said, he said, salty, he said, so what do you think I'm gonna do to you for slaying an innocent man while he sleep? Cut, his, cut their feet and their hands off and hung them outside of the gates. That was how he was. He was. He did what the father asked him to do. He had to make an example to save people's lives. He was a king, a righteous king. So you know, I, I agree with putting hands. What well, Nehemiah was, well, he's like a holy diva. Nehemiah said, if y'all don't get off the wall in this temple, I'm gonna put my hands on y'all. Nehemiah, yeah, he was whipping people. I'm, listen, there's a scripture that says that. I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving the. the uh, he, did he did whip him. He and he did whip him. He said, stop. He said, this is for this is a place for people who need healing. And, a, and people who are in the faith that need to be encouraged in the faith. He said, you can't come in here and hold the water. I'll beat you up. Get out. And they never came. It says, it says in the Bible, it says, well, they never entered. <laughs> they never entered the gates again after that. Here we go. John 2 and 12. And after this, he went down to the temple. He and his mother and his brothers and his disciples there continued there about many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand. And how shot went out to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changes of money city. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple. They whooped their ass. They didn't call the Lord of the them. Whooped their ass and drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen. Who the hell in this world can push an ox? <laughs> they didn't show me one person, them bodybuilders, powerlifters, they that. still ain't strong enough. They say that thing's stronger than an ox. Yeah, because it's just sister. Hit it, punch it, kick it, it's just gonna sit there with the Lord. Anyway, he was whipping everything. That's right. He's like, That's get right. out of here. That's right. You think he'll do to uh, if he came back right now, he would say he was gonna be well, he already told me he's gonna trade the wine for it. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And poured out of the changes money and overthrew the table and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of mercy. Oh, they were selling doves and stuff because all pertain to the uh to, to the so-called religion and the law and everything. That, that's the same thing as these guys selling garments, making merchandise out of men, you know? Because they like to worship the stuff. You know, and yep. even, even when he had done the things that he had done, he went up and hid in the, in the mountain. He went up and hid in the hills. You know why he did that? Everybody said, why would he do that? Why would he not want to be crowned the king? Because he knew they were doing it for the wrong reason. He knew they were trying to worship his flesh. He said, so, my king is not of his world. He knew they were trying to worship the flesh. He knew they were gonna idolatize him and make him. Yeah, he knew it. That's why he said, the way you worship, sit on your coins. Yeah, he said, this kingdom is not in my world. If my kingdom is this, my, 
my kingdom where this where my servants were from. Dude, you remember remember in John 8 and 42 uh, through 45 where he was like, he says, he says, now I come unto the Father, and you know what? You're acting like you don't hear what I'm saying. He's like, but it's because you're of your father. The devil. And so he knew intention. He knew intention. He can walk past you and say, I know the intention of your father. So much so that Peter didn't even know. See, uh, David knew who he was. David knew who he was, but he was talking to David. He was talking to him. He told him to uh, get up out of here. Hey, I, you know what? You got more than that? Yeah, I got more. Well, I, I got nothing. I, I got, got something. We'll move it back to when you start going into that division, how we ain't all going to come together, and the reason that's why. That's new. And the reason why we can't come together, because, oh, man, I lost my script. All right, this is Titus. Uh, 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 three and nine, but avoid foolish questions and What's genealogies. Up, oh. All the genealogies, a lot of dudes, they be like, we need to, they'll actually do a genealogy check on you to see if you're an Israelite. Oh, they do that to me. They be like, who's your father? Who's your grandfather? Yeah. They, they do it all the time. Who, they don't even know who they are. Why, why do they think that they, it's in their pay grade to tell somebody where they're going to be? Right. Told to do that. But that goes back to how can we, how can we become one with the, somebody like that? Right. And that's most of the Israelites out there teaching. It's like how you see? It's a church too. Like, listen, it's in a church too. Because I, you know, I've been in the temples. You know, and I've, had, I've been pushed out of temples as well. They don't want to, they want me to come back. But I, I've been in the temples where the respecters of persons. We forget that respecter of persons means. He is no respecter of persons. Well, they judge you by the way you dress and everything. Come as you are. They don't get that. How, they, how come they say it in the church all the time and they don't understand it? You got to wear your Sunday best. <laughs> right. They don't well, understand the word. Right. That they, they don't understand the gospel that they believe, that they say they believe. It's one thing to read the word. Well, all of us got there. All of us were there. Reading the word and then trying to practice it. But it's another completely different walk to believe it and know it was real and know that you have a personal covenant. When you start walking with him, he's he going to take you through Ezekiel moments. He told Ezekiel to rise. He was like, arise, little man. Before Ezekiel could get up on his own strength, he was rising like that. What's happening? You know? <laughs> so he had made him go forth. He says, they're going to call you a scorpion. They're not going to like you. Have a good day. And then he was like, Ezekiel was like, what else? Am I going to get what I'm going to get? He was like, you going to eat dumb. All that stuff he was telling him, he says, go forth. He was trying to expose to him why you walk forth. You do things that people need to be done. Regardless of the vain eyes of men, regardless of the people like you, regardless of the people in the, temp in the temple have all the money and all the power. This is scripture. They say the word don't hate you. They say they don't hate you. Uh, what are they saying? Me and uh, hate. Me and hate. That's yeah, John 7 7. Yeah, me yeah. before hate. Hey, let me continue on this. Let's stay on the uh, on the rails. Uh, what is it? Avoid foolish questions, the genealogies, and contentions, and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. But check this out. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. So if, I can, if you got somebody out there teaching, so it, 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 if you got so-called minor differences, if you got two of those minor differences, you're a heretic. We can't agree. We can't We can't be brothers. We can't join forth. Hey, you got that Roman? Roman 16. 17. I mean, that sounds good. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Before we, we read the process of changing. Why may they change or repent? I mean, that's another story. I mean, that's, that's the Titus story. 3, 2, 3, 10. Oh, this is but that, that process is sometimes longer than we understand. So. Hey, time is short. Man, God, no, I agree with you. Sometimes the Lord's judgment comes quick. Don't it it does. does. Sometimes it Man, well, slang, look, sometimes it's we don't know oh, plenty of people that we done taught, dealt with and got put to death. Like, and shortly after we taught them, you know what I mean? I don't want to be that guy. Just because we ain't seen the power of judgment too, probably. We don't see them no more here. You know the Lord's going to listen. We have faith that the Lord's going to deal with these people. You we have faith. You remember the brother that walked past and said, it's like Mary and Mary. Right. 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 You see what he had back there. Yeah. Like God. Right. right. He's another one of the dudes is like, you got a hidden prophet. I'm going to be called to go forward. You get what I'm saying? And he's not, he's still straining. He's in his, but you know he's a man. You know he's a brother. He just, he right now, when you see him walk past, he didn't say nothing. Because he's lost right this moment. But I'm, I believe, I'm believing in the most high view. Because he comes back and he's you like, you know what? Uh, don't make a mistake going off your emotions, man. Because yep. you want somebody to come in. They ain't working. Because we got, we got, fel I mean, right. got fellows for the two-thirds. Right. Because we pray in the kingdom, even the, the evil Israelites, they're going to be in the kingdom. Yes. So, That's but, right. hey, well, yeah. you might feel bad for him, but, hey, hey the most high is going to come raw with it. Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, look how to pray for these people. Jeremiah said, well, Jeremiah prayed for it. 
Even Ezra said they prayed for the two thirds. Right. Then when Jeremiah got fucked up by the two thirds, he started hating the two thirds. Like, Lord, kill these stupid pieces of shit. <laughs> kill them, kill the father, kill the children, everything. And Jeremiah ain't doing it. He used to pray for them. But you gotta say it. He could have been so loved. Hey, that was that we get that John 3 at 18. It says, uh, he that believeth on the Son is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Ooh, you know? Ooh. That's some rough oh. words and some verbiage right, right there. And it's gonna be personal like again, like you said, I agree with y'all when you say you I gotta get my control over. Hey, you the plastic bag? I got some I think I got some home. I don't know. What the hell happened to mine? That's a revelation for today, man. I, I don't I know if I got some time. Time. They don't believe today, then what do we do? Gotta keep going. Let's go in this show. Do we pray? Do we Second Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren. Oh, I gotta do keep time. saying brethren. He keeps saying brethren. He keeps saying nobody was. Hey, do, you pray? Do, do we pray that they come out of a burning house? I mean, John, oh, David said, well, I mean, I'm bad. Some people.